can you tell us uh, who you are, where you're from, and what you do? I'm uh, Michael Campbell. Uh, I'm from Switzerland uh, with British parents, mm -hmm. and I'm a painter. You're a painter. So, would you say your painting is strictly formalist, like it's about the materials, or as you say, it's about the viewer's experience? Yeah, it's about the viewer. It's about the viewer? Yeah. Uh, and however they interact with it. I mean, my job ends at the formal sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. I have nothing to do with what the viewer experiences. Or, or, well, I do have something to do with it, but it's not my job. That's, mm -hmm. you know, that's where I've decided my responsibility comes to an end. So yeah, for me, it's just about the painting itself and what it looks like, how it is, how it's made, the composition, the colors, uh, but there's no, I have no input into mm -hmm. what you experience. So you don't really have any underlying themes or like patterns you want them to catch on? No. Like, no. I don't care about that. You don't care about no. that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, and so what has been the experience of the viewers so far? Like what have, how have people reacted to your work? Well, you know, that's one of my favorite things when because my paintings are not really, they're kind of abstract and you, you know, some of them are slightly figurative or figural maybe, mm -hmm. but often people come and tell me what they see and what the painting means. And that's fascinating for me mm -hmm. because I didn't know that, uh, you know, it looks like this. And so it helps me see things in a, in a new way. Uh, and of course, then there's the emotional aspect. Mm -hmm. uh, which they also bring to it, mm -hmm. and sometimes, you know, it's, it's a completely different narrative to what I... So it could also be like a negative uh, feedback for you, even if it's not like in itself negative, it can like affect you negatively, if they try to impose yeah. a sort of meaning to your painting? Well, once it's finished, it doesn't impact me, mm -hmm. I think, but during the process, if uh, you know, if I'm painting a painting and then someone says, oh, hey, you know, it reminds me of this, it looks like this, then that could, you know, mess with me a bit. Mm -hmm. So I try to be as rude as possible to <laughs> everyone who comes and watches me paint, but then to be polite when the painting's finished. Was uh, just about your process, because you're not really paint traditionally from images, or you're not trying to copy, you know, a picture, or... Yeah. So where do these come from? Sometimes, you know, often from dreams. This mm -hmm. stuff that out as a dream, I saw it. I actually saw this was just a blank canvas. And these were eight blue, uh, I guess, gestures coming out. Uh, and then what I've learned from my own experience is to kind of let go of whatever preconceived image I had. So it might start with a certain intuition, a certain impulse, but then I have to let it go and let it become what it becomes. So it doesn't look anything like it used to look, but, mm -hmm. or looked in the dream, but that's where it, where it started. And I guess some of the others often grow out of just making, like I'm making something and the next step is, oh, what if I did this, what if I did that? Uh, but then some of them, I mean, I don't really paint from images much. Mm -hmm. uh, but also there's, you know, sometimes when I'm making something, I ask myself, how, to what extent should I follow what I've already made? Like if I make one big mark, should I follow around that mark? Because I, I can really do whatever I want, or should I... Paint over e it. Exactly. <laughs> and so that's, you know, yeah. That's interesting. Another question I want to ask is if you have any influences, any like artists you look up to or that, you know, inspire you? Sure, yeah, a lot. Uh, I mean, I can name, you know, Julian Schnabel, obviously, Cy Twombly, uh, most recently Ansem Kiefer, oh, Anish Kapoor also. Mm -hmm. I, I started working with silicon then I saw his mm -hmm. sculptures. When I saw Anselm Kiefer's sort of monumental works in Venice, you know, in 2022, mm -hmm. at the Biennale, they were just so, I, I was, it told me like, oh, this is what painting can be. 
what the material can do. Yeah, what it can do, and it was just so. Uh, Monumental. Yeah, and it was just. Yeah, it was sort of sculptural painting. They had some things on the paint, but it was just. This is painting, and this is it can you know this is what it can be. Mm -hmm. So, are you trying to change like painting, like as a practice, like what it is, you know, like a flat surface? Are you trying to break? Them? Not really, but like uh, maybe I do that if maybe, but I don't. I'm not. I don't really. No, I don't need to. Uh, not intentionally, but no. I think everything is like since maybe the eighties. You know, you're allowed to do anything and everything, mm -hmm. you know, you're not, like, it's so uh, expansive that, you know, what, what's there left to change? Everything's already changing so quickly anyway. So I don't want to change anything, but, uh, but that being said, it is a nice feeling to think, to, to believe that you might do something unique. Mm -hmm. We, you know, and I don't know if I do that yet, but mm -hmm. you know. How would you position yourself within the broader contemporary fine art practice? And would you position yourself? <laughs> yeah, I would. I think, uh, I mean, first and foremost, I think I'm a, a painter, so that's mm -hmm. one category. Even with, I mean, in I guess the current show, which is which we're talking about. Mm -hmm. What I'm doing is, I called it a meta painting. Really, it's a painting, but you can walk inside of it, right? And it's a, so it's an installation, but it's really, it's, I treat it as a painting. And, uh, and these also, there's stuff coming out of them, you know, there's, and so you could say it's sculptural, but really I treat it as a painting. So I'd say first and foremost, painting, I would say I, I sort of follow the, postmodern painting, you know, traditions with some, you know, subversive dialogue in there about, you know, about what it is, but, and I guess I would have to, I, I would, from an outside point of view, I'm not saying this about myself, so maybe I shouldn't say it, but I often, I guess, get seen as a, a, a neo, neo abstract expressionist, hmm. which I guess, you know, they're abstract and they're expressive, Yes. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> fair enough. Um, but yeah, I guess, so that's the sort of direction mm -hmm. I guess I'm going in. I want to talk about the meta painting and what your aim is with that. Yeah, well, I can maybe, maybe I can say how I came up with it. Okay, and explain it a bit for the viewers to so sure. understand what it is. Okay. Uh, well, you walk into a room and you see a painting. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's an abstract painting and it's got sort of a, you know, it's got one part which is lighter and a couple of things which are darker. And then you realize that the lighter thing is actually, is actually three-dimensional, it's a room. And you go closer and you look inside and it's a full-on room within, you know, inside of the mm -hmm. painting. It's like, so it's a room made out of paintings? Exactly. Then you walk in and it's all paintings and there might be some sculptural elements, who knows. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and so, and then you can go inside. Uh, and I like that idea because it's sort of, it, it brings me back to maybe like a, like a sort of novelistic thing, you know, when you're reading a book and there are secret passageways and underground mm. thing, you know, and I like that cozy, uh, secret, uh, aspect, uh, so it's kind of like that and it's really, you know, and that's fantasy, I guess, so I guess it's about fantasy, mm -hmm. I don't know. It's like... I've never had the chance to walk into a painting. I don't think mm. many people have uh, until you made it. And I think it also, it's kind of nostalgic and it brings something like childlike mm -hmm. inside me. Because I've always wanted to walk into the screen, um, to walk into like Alice in the Wonderland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. You know, so it brings me Exactly. There. That's good to hear. For me. Yeah.